Hey there, YouTube fam. Lost one fans, William Cody out here in the desert. And it's high. The sun's almost down in my side of town. That lonesome feeling comes to my door. The dogs are whooped. We've had a long day searching. So I'm here because I want to ask for your help at home, you web sleuths. You bone specialists, doctors, anybody? Yeah, like doctors are watching my channel, right? <laughs> um, I got another possible human bone, and of course, it's a tibia of some sort. It appears to match the size of a tibia of a human, but I could just be delirious from heat. So maybe you guys can help me out before I go uploading coordinates and all that stuff there. So... This is it. It's definitely a tibia. See the end? I'm not gonna touch it. See the end? That's the end on one side. That right, side, so here's my hand. very flat on this end should be where the knee is very porous like they say human bones are it's been broke it appears the leg and the reason why this one interests me guys is because the crash site is literally right over the hill um, like less than a half a mile away that way over the hill um, and you know when I came through law enforcement had marked um, all the bones but this one wasn't marked this tape here these two oranges are my tape and see the dogs are kind of interested in it but it's it seems older but um, if it's been sitting out in the Sun I don't know I put my foot up next to it I wear an 11 and a half boot Maybe you web sleuths or anyone that knows good about bones at home. Let me know if this is worth uploading into the Buckeye Police Department database and jumping through all those hoops. It's definitely not a cow. I don't think it's a deer. I just don't know what else it could be. It looks a lot like that other human leg bones we just found. But... Let me know what y'all think. Give it one more flip over. I've <clears throat> computed these GPS coordinates. It's just got that porous look like a human bone. I know human bones are a lot more porous. But the marrow and everything is still containing the bone if it needs to be tested. So, I don't know if you guys can hear in the distance gunshots. It's right over past where Daniel's Jeep was. Someone's shooting right now. They've been shooting all day long. It's got the dogs a little freaked out because we're out here so far away. They have shooting. It's pretty strange. But it's been a long day, guys. We've been hitting these mountains hard. I just want to show you some terrain. We're out here looking for Daniel Robinson, the 23-year-old geologist who went missing. If you're new to the channel, and wondering what we're doing stalking around in the desert the 90 degree heat so the heat temperature has greatly increased in the last couple of days when we first got here it was like cool and just perfect and now it's blue blaze is hot <laughs> and uh we're not really used to it but if you guys at home can do some looking up and helping me out um on this bone Kind of got that feeling. It's got the, I think it's the, about the right size. Nipsey, what do you think, guys? There's Nipsey. Her cough has gone away. Because I've been giving her dog antibiotics. She likes to bite flies. She's she's the dog in training, knucklehead in training, as I say. But, guys, this just looks different from all the other bones. Again. I don't know. 
But anyway, I got it GPS marked. And it's just so strange because it's one bone in the middle of nowhere. Like I walked all these little valleys and everything. And um, there's no other bone. It just like fell out of the sky. You know, usually you can find bones to match it and such. But sure would be nice to have like a bone professional on call that I could just text picture to. So if you want to sponsor the lost ones and you know about bones a lot and you want to help out, you can be on call for these searches. That would be great. So I don't have to wonder all night long. I lose sleep when I think they're human bones. So I get all excited and then lose sleep and then turns out, you know, a lot of times they're animal or uh, I've gotten pretty good lately, but <clears throat> you never know. Some, there's some human bones that look very similar to animal bones. So. But thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you all this beautiful country. It's finally starting to cool off. Whew. But Daniel's father went live this morning. and They're having a candlelight visual on March 12th. So if you're around and you can come support Daniel's father David He could sure use any type of help We're here all volunteer helping out Daniel's father of course no charge ever at lost ones This is volunteer work. So the only thing I ask you to do is like subscribe. Oh, and I learned to start saying hit the notification bell so That'd be cool. So like subscribe down at the bottom of that little bell you can tap on and that'll notify you whenever I put a video up and soon enough, I'll be doing lives and all that. So you subscribers that are here now are my founders, my OGs, if you will. So if you were one of the first 500 subscribers to my channel, I super appreciate it. And uh, it means a lot to me. And I'm going to call you all the founders. So if you're a founder, you can sound off in the future. And maybe I'll send you some swag. <laughs> so. But I uh, just wanted to say thanks for watching, of course. And uh, today is day five. So we're going to get one more long day tomorrow. And uh, then we got to head back to Colorado because I got to visit my daughter. I've been on the road too long. <laughs> so y'all have a great evening. Thanks.